Well, the red, white, and blue against a lowering sun became the backdrop for a 9-11 remembrance at MCAR Miramar, MCAS Miramar tonight. On hand was the youngest living recipient of the Medal of Honor. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence found out why the person who earned that award was told that he couldn't make it as a Marine. Scores of Marines and their families came to honor not only those who were lost on 9-11, but those who went above and beyond the call of duty because of it. It is my honor to introduce you, Sergeant Dakota Meyer. Dakota Meyer repeatedly charged into an ambush zone in Afghanistan in September 2008 to rescue others, which seems at odds with how his career in the Marines got started. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I joined the Marine Corps because a Marine recruiter told me I couldn't do it. Is that a fact? That's a fact. Judging by the reception he received, that recruiter obviously made a mistake. Sergeant Dakota Meyer certainly drawing the attention of all these young Marines, but there are two other Marines who hailed from 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing here at Miramar, who are also being remembered on this 9-11 anniversary. It was one year ago that Lieutenant Colonel Chris Rabel and Sergeant Brad Atwell were killed at their base camp in Bastion when it was attacked. We will never, ever lose them. They're always with us. They're always in our hearts. And uh, they made a difference. They made a difference. Dakota Meyer said when he went to the World Trade Center, that's when it dawned on him what he was fighting for. For another Medal of Honor recipient, Colonel Jay Varkas of San Diego, 9-11, he said he was ready to go again. If the commandant would have called me to come back on active duty, I would have gone in two minutes. Vargas's medal was earned in the jungles of Vietnam, as was Bob Mojievsky's, both who praised the men and women in today's military. The flag finally lowered and the playing of taps closed out the 9-11 remembrance. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.